for everybody in Circle of Win and the rest of YouTube land. This video has a couple things that I need to tell you guys about, and hopefully I remember them all because I am kind of a forgetful person. Number one, I am a half a Hufflepuff. Yes, you know all those sorting hat quizzes that you take online? Well, I've taken a lot of those, and some of them tell me I'm in Gryffindor, and some of them tell me I'm in Hufflepuff. And there's one that is really good because it uses a bunch of personality tests to determine your correct house, and I got Hufflepuff on that. And I've taken a lot of those kinds of personality tests because I'm a psychology major, and they usually get me extra credit when I take them in class. And the Harry Potter one was the funnest one I've taken because it pulled in my house. And even though it said Hufflepuff and not Gryffindor, like, I usually get. That's okay, because Hufflepuff is the second best house. I suppose now it's kind of tied with Gryffindor. Yeah, they're the two best houses. It is better than Ravenclaw and Slytherin. So, half a Gryffindor and half a Hufflepuff. And I suppose that means I should probably get another scarf, or make another scarf, but this scarf took me like a few months. So maybe I'll make a Hufflepuff one. That would be cool, and I could wear them both at the same time. It's kind of warm today, so I'm going to take it off. Number two. I got an awesome package in the mail the other day. It was from Sam. And he got me this shirt because I live really far away from any place podcast is going. So I wasn't going to be able to get it because I wanted to get it at least either around the money. And all this wizard rock. Oops. It didn't break all cats, and Lauren's stuff, and more of Lauren's stuff, and Moaning Myrtles, and Lompy, and it's a lot, but some of it is stuff my sister wanted, and I have it all on my computer right now. Okay, that was kind of funny. The batteries died partway through my video. Which kind of ties into the number three thing that I had to tell you guys. And that is that it has been a month and a week, I think, since LeakyCon. And I have finally gotten more batteries for my camera. They're not rechargeable like the ones that I lost with the ball. Regular batteries, but I did finally get some. Yeah, the batteries died halfway through my video. That was really funny. But now I have new ones, and hopefully they're going to last throughout the entire rest of the video. Oh, something else about Sam's package. He sent us awesome business cards, and they are so cool. And I don't have any right now because Heather took them, and I don't know where they are. But she's been passing them out to people, which is really cool. But I'm going to track them down because I want some too. And number four. Fourth thing I have to tell you guys. My computer, new MacBook. See, isn't it pretty full? It came right after Leaky, and in my house, we kind of name all our electronics. Yeah, that's kind of weird, but my brother named mine. He named it Narcissa, because it is white, and Narcissa has white-colored hair. And there's a bunch of other reasons that are more computery. Something about the lines of you can't change anything on it, and for some reason that ties in with Narcissa, and maybe he'll write make a video explaining why, because I really don't know. But I didn't really like that name. But then it stuck, as names often do. Like my dog, we jokingly named him after the Pope, and that stuck, his name is Benedict. That stuck. And it's kind of funny, because we found out later that the Pope doesn't like Harry Potter. Which is kind of ironic. Number five. Anybody in the Harry Potter world who knows me knows that I am really into fan fiction. Like, Heather will tell you that I'm pretty obsessed, and I read it, and I write it, and I've been writing it since that, right after Deathly Hallows came out. And the first thing I started writing was a series about Albus Severus Potter, and I've currently written a story about his first year, his second year, and I'm working on one about his third year. And that one's like halfway done. But... While I was writing that, I got a spin-off series about one of my original characters in my Elvis series. And then now I am writing a story about him. 
short. It was mainly about his sister. And it takes place in Australia. And then they move to England. And it's next generation, obviously. And it's really long. I think it's longer than Order of the Phoenix, which is saying something. But the reason I'm telling you about it right now is because it's almost done. I'm on the last chapter. I've been working on it for over a year, and I'm actually going to finish it. And my sister, not Heather, the other one, always was saying how I was never going to finish it because it was just so long, and it, it's, like, epically long. But it would be awesome if people read it. I'm doing some shameless plugging now, but I have, like, eight eight or nine stories up on harrypotterfanfiction.com and link in the sidebar. I really hope I'm pointing in the right direction. Maybe that way. In one of these directions, there will be a link in the sidebar to my fanfiction. And we, I'm organizing a Circle of Wind fanfiction. And as of right now, it is being called Meet Me at the Leaky Cauldron. And that, of course, is courtesy of JF, that's the name. But... I have, I wrote the first chapter, which is from the point of view of Tom the Barman, and I will be posting that soon, and everybody else is working on their chapters, I think. That will come soon. Here's a song from all the Hufflepuffs who go unnoticed all the time. There's no reason why this should be what we've been waiting for. Ready, well represents the crossroad of Gryffindor. You are just and you are loyal, one could ask for true friends, or a Cedric met a tragic end.